Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Traders, I'm running a free training today and you're gonna learn my number one trading system that gets up with a 90% success rate and how to find these trades using a secret scanning tool and how I can actually have all my trading done in less than one hour per day. So I'm running this free web class today. So go to johnslivetraining.com or the very first link in the description right now. All right. So hope we're doing well, guys. Hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope we're doing well. Now, silver and gold. What is going on with the silver and gold markets? Now, looking at what we're seeing here right now, the last couple of weeks, I did a few live streams, okay? I did a few live streams. The first live stream was back on this day right here, all right? So this this update, this up candle here, all right? Actually, you know what? Let me just bring this, um, this one right here, okay? So on this up candle here, I did a live stream that day and I said, you know what? Looks like that we may be getting ready for a breakout. Get ready for that. Get ready for, you know, get ready for that because we may be getting ready for some sort of a breakout. Um, it didn't happen. And then I basically did a live stream this day here and said, it doesn't look like it's gonna follow through right now today. And it looks like we're gonna get some more downside to come. And so I did a live stream that day. Then this day did, then this day did this here. And then the next day today had a bit of a sell-off. So in the grand scheme of things, okay? In the grand scheme of things, where we are right now, looking at this silver and gold chart here, okay? What we're looking at here and what we're identifying is we can see how that that we're starting to see a sell-off. Now, is this gonna be a strong sell-off or is it likely to be some sort of a weak sell-off? Well, let's have a look at this here. We can see how we, we've just started to break out now uh, out of this level here, right? So we have basically this level of resistance. You can see how we went sideways and now we've just broken to the downside. And so I do see that there's a whole there's a whole bunch of we're probably likely to have at least a short term move probably down towards the sixteen dollar level on the on the silver market there and you can see also same around probably maybe even, maybe even a bit lower than that if I look at my weekly chart you can see how I've got basically two levels of support levels through here so pro we're probably this this pullback that, that's happening right now or this little drop in the market probably is likely to continue and to get down towards a $16 level and maybe down the $15 level, which is quite, I didn't expect, I didn't expect to see such such a pullback, but hey, that's what the market's all about, right? Um, now I do believe, I do, I still do believe that we're getting ready for the, the long-term guys, the next five, 10 years, you know, that that's this, this whole thing is probably gonna turn around and, and start to see some upside there. If I look at the, uh, I can't get my volume on this TC2000 platform, but if I look at the, um, <laughs> if, if I look at if I look at the actual SLV chart, look what's happening here. Absolutely gorgeous, right? Absolutely gorgeous. Now, why do I say gorgeous? Because look what's happened through here. If we, if I look at this here, right? Like, I could see how this market has started to completely started to close below this level through here. Okay, we had over the last sort of couple of months, we had this big, nice, big downtrend. We had this high, came down, made this low, made a lower high, came down, went sideways, and now we've had the breakout. And if you look at the volume, right, the volume has really, really, really started to pick up today. So that tells me that silver is likely to start to see at least a two to five day move on the downside, at least. Okay, now actually, that's probably all, all it's gonna have. If I open up my chart right up now, you can see how that there's, we're, uh, we're breaking this level here right now with volume, so we're probably likely to run down to around the $15 level on a short-term basis. So it's probably gonna be a, what I call a two to five day move, right? Two to five days, right? Well, because means that more, on average, it might take one or two days to get there, or it might take a week to get there, but, with a caveat on that, it may just be a final little drop before it goes sideways, before we start before we start to pick back up. Now, with where, where my money is, my money is obviously on just for, you know, we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, but looking at the chart right now and looking at my moving average, right, if I look at this, if I look at my moving average, nicely trending down, sideways, a little breakdown with a volume increase, that tells me 
we're now likely to start to see a drop to the downside and the short-term target for me would be $15 there. The reason why is there's a bit of a long-term support level through there. Um, I do believe the buyers are likely to come back in once again, even if we do get a bit of a drop down to $15 level, I do believe the buyers are likely to come back in and swoop it up and start to see a move back to the upside from there. Um, so the pullback here, this overall big pullback has continued uh, with the silver market there. So I, I this, especially the silver market guys, short term pullback is, is probably likely to happen. Uh, so next week is probably gonna be a bearish week for, um, <laughs> Yes, we are live, Anna. Uh, <laughs> um, the silver market, we're probably likely to see. We probably like to probably likely in, to continue to see uh, more weakness coming into the metals on a short term basis. My long term view, guys. My next my next five to ten years, that in long term investing position, I still have a big position long term investing, right? But I don't really care about what's happening right now because I know. Where thing, I know what's happening right now, fundamentally, politically, and all that sort of stuff over the next five to 10 years. That's all I care about, okay? So the more this pulls back, the, actually the more I, conti more I continue to buy long-term anyway uh, for, for those, those types of trades. Um, but on my trading, the way, that's my investing, right? My investing long-term is like, if this pulls back, fantastic, I'm gonna buy, me, buy even more. Um, so that's what I do, right? I don't just throw it all in. I continue to add and add and add as this thing continues to pull it back. That's my five to 10 years. So I have one trading account or I have one account that's for just that long-term stuff, buy, hold. You know what? This is a five to 10 year plan. Then I have my other trading account, which is my trading trading account, which means I'm in and out on a short-term basis, right? In and out, two to five days. And sometimes I'm in and out within a few weeks. So... When I'm looking at silver right now, silver is one of those things that is likely to have a two to five day move down towards at least $15 there. Um, again, it's only a short term move, um, but again, that doesn't look like much, but you know, when you're looking at this here, um, it still can be quite a nice move in the options market. That's why I love trading options, because uh, options can be phenomenal. Now, obviously there is a risk to all trading guys, so that's not guaranteed to go down, but um, we're now likely, when um, we've now got this breakout to the downside, we're now likely to run down to the next level of support through there, which is that $15 level. So sure, sure. so bearish week for the metals week uh, next week, guys, uh, or for, should I say for silver. If I go have a look at gold right now, gold uh, also had a bit of a bearish week as well too, that, but overall gold is holding up really strong. Gold is really, 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 really strong in the markets. Okay, and so, um, and so, sorry, gold is holding up really strong in the market. And it's holding up so much more stronger, <laughs> stronger than silver is right now. So what we're seeing through here right now, okay, um, what we're seeing through here is if we look at this weekly chart, we're, we're continuing to see this slight pullback through here. Um, and so so it's just, it's just really interesting if I squeeze my chart right up through here, I can continue to see that even though we're getting this very, very, very sort of a, this overall overall channel pullback in the in this bear market through here, even though we're getting that, guess what? It's still holding up so much more stronger than the um, than, than silver is. So gold is definitely the the gold is definitely the the backbone there, right? Now, when you're looking at the metals, when you're investing in the metals. You must understand that gold is less volatile than silver. That's the reason why silver has pretty big gyrations. I love trading silver. I love investing in gold. All right. Um, so that's what's happening right now. So uh, just we, I'm really waiting for another big breakout. I'm really, really waiting for another nice trend to to start to start the form. Right. So we can see back here. See how the market goes for a nice run, and then it goes through this nice quiet period through here, and then it starts to break out. That's what I want to see over here. We went for a nice run sideways. It went for another run. And now we're just going through another quiet period. I want to see another breakout to the upside through here so I can, you know, look look for more trading opportunities because there is no there is no trading opportunities right now in gold, meaning short-term trades. Two to five day moves. Long term, hmm, that's me you know, galloping on that horse. Like, let's go. <laughs> right? So that's what I'm seeing there right now with with the with the gold market. And, uh, and so, yeah, so it'd be really interesting to see whether we do start to actually break down on gold because we do have a lot of support levels down through here, but I don't, 
even if gold does start to break down, guys, like I... Yeah, it's just like... We're, actually, we do have a lot of support down there, don't we, on, on gold. So even if it did start to break... Even if, it, even if gold did start to break down through here, level here, guys, we've probably got a lot of, a lot of support level through here. So, um... So that's that's what I'm seeing through there, guys. Are uh, on the uh, on the actual silver and silver and gold. Now, one thing that I am looking at right now is the GDX and GDXJ. We can see how that what's happening right now is that we had a bit of a breakout to the upside. Um, I thought and this is my thinking here, guys. Um, not a, not a trading opportunity, but I thought this this here is likely to be a breakaway gap, and we're now likely to start to move to the upside. Well, it's completely retraced down. It still could be that. Because we, because we could now find a bit of support here and continue up, but, um, but we're just we're not really, it's not really uh, giving us any strong sign through there. And same for the GDXJ as well too. I really thought that this little gap up was probably likely to be a bit of a start to start to a bull run. That that didn't happen. Um, completely failed and completely re retraced the whole thing back down. Um, so therefore, that's that's actually not a bullish sign at all. So, but as I, uh, the interesting thing is, guys, you know, I see this here, right? I see this this type of thing here. Like I say, okay, this um, 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 so we can see that this little gap here, guys. The interesting thing is that um, the interesting thing about this here, right, is that um the gap up through here is uh, I really thought that this was going to be a bit of a breakaway gap it didn't come down and complete and completely retrace it through there if I look at the SIL and the SILJ they're doing the same thing as well too right there's a lot of weakness now back in the metals again really really quickly um so same same sort of thing right same sort of thing we're getting uh especially on look at this SIL right SIL pretty much sideways and SILJ uh, pretty much sideways as well too, right? Oh, the SILJ has actually been stair stepping up quite nicely, but on a short term basis, guys, I don't know about gold, but silver once again, silver looks like it has is going to have a continued movement on the on the downside at least for the short term. So for target for the SLV for me, I have a target of around fifteen dollars that we're likely to get to. Uh, looking at that there, so um, I don't normally make. Like, as you guys know, right, I don't normally make price projections and stuff like that. But when I see something like this here, uh, it's um, it, it's it's now breaking out, breaking to the downside. We're now likely to see a move back to the downside, guys. Um, you know, guys, if you'd like to learn my trading strategy and how I trade the markets and how I use my scanning to scan the find the trades, how I use options and so on and so forth, then go to johnslivetrading.com. Jump on my next uh, web class and you'll be able to see all the details to that.